Hey everybody, greetings from sunny northeastern China. Well, it's a beautiful day. I had to come to Changchun City again today, just for the day. But I figured, you know what? Why not get here a little bit early, rent a bike, and just kind of cruise around and see what kind of surprises we can stumble upon. So that's what we're doing. Nothing really definite, no definite course. Just gonna kind of cruise. And uh, I got a couple of rough ideas. But yeah, I'm glad to have you guys along for the ride. So uh, let's do it. Uh, we're right here in the heart, heart of the city. It's a pretty impressive looking structure right there. And over here, you got Wanda. Those are all over China. Those are just big shopping centers, malls. That one's got an IMAX. They've always got a, they pretty much always have a cinema and they've got everything. All right, looks like we made it to People's Square, right in the heart of Changchun. And you can see those three big red characters there. That says China Dream. Basically, like the American Dream is basically the same concept. That's something they've kind of taken and ran with. The Chinese dream, the China dream. But yeah, this is the uh, People's Square. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go walk around or anything. I'm gonna stay on the bike and keep cruising. But I did want to show this to you all. It's at a big roundabout. That's a Chinese bank, the China Commercial Bank. And this is one of the main drags in town takes us right into the heart of the city. I mean, we're already pretty much there, but we're going a little deeper into the city. A little windy today, but besides that, it's beautiful. There's rental bikes just sitting around. You can just pick one up. All you have to do is scan it with your phone. If you've got WeChat and you're good to go. Now here we go, guys. Here's something cool. Culture Square. Built by the Japanese. Definitely one of the most well-known landmarks in Changchun City. Pardon the wind, guys. Hope you can hear me. I like northeastern China, but it's windy as hell up here, especially in the spring. Uh, you've got quite a few folks out here today and most of them seem to be flying kites and uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. <laughs> that's one thing I can say this place would be perfect for is flying kites and that's actually how I wanted to show you this. These guys over here flying their kites. Bunch of old guys. <laughs> They set up shop over here. And it's way up in here or there. Hello. Hey, you Hello, hello, hello. Which one are you? No, it's not mine. Ah, what time do you fly? It's big. Today, it's very suitable to fly kites, right? Uh, big. This kite is. Those things are huge. So it looks like a parachute. And this guy's got a tiny one. You know? You see they've got their wheels there. Pretty professional. To be honest, I've never even flown a kite in my whole life. <laughs> never. This guy's got a small one here, but he's about to release it. Shouldn't be too hard to get it up in the air today with all this wind. There it goes. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's got it up now. He's got it up now. These guys ain't playing with these kites. Look at this. Look how big this thing is. Well, they got some nice looking basketball courts over here. Just right over here i was just over there with the guys flying the kites now i'm over here I'm gonna give you guys a closer look well there you go guys it doesn't get much cooler than that and 
And like I said, if you watch my videos, you know, when I'm out, if I see a pull-up bar, I've got to hit a few pull-ups. And uh, <laughs> lucky for me, I saw one right here. This is still here at Culture Square. I see uh, a lot of different exercise equipment. People out here utilizing it, staying healthy. So let's do a few pull-ups. Now this area is pretty fun. This is over here by Guayla and Lou. If you saw my last video, I came over here and uh, had some food. Showed you there's tons of little like street food vendors and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna, there's a bunch of little alleyways around here and stuff, little side streets. I'm gonna check them out and just give you guys a little tour. I've taught you all before that Hutong means alley. And this is kind of a cool one. A little narrow and... Let's stay on it. These roads can be deadly. Look at this. If you're out here at night, look at that. Baby style. Uh, whoever that is, they're pretty tatted up. Closed up. Well, oh, there's the Shangri La Changchun. Probably not where I ended up staying. <laughs> well, Found this by accident, Chongqing Alley. Bumpy, bumpy. I don't know if you guys can experience the bumps like I am. <laughs> it's like a nice free butt massage. A butt massage that doesn't feel very good. This is kind of cool though. You know, that's one of the good things about get, getting a bike, you know. You can cover a lot of ground. See things that you may not pass by foot. Look at it. It just goes on and on. Let's keep it riding, guys. What do you say? Slip up here, get some smooth riding for a minute. A smooth riding. These buses are my enemy. <laughs> I'm always dodging these guys. <laughs> oh man. 
almost like a real life video game. You gotta dodge out the vehicles or you might crash and burn. All right, we're riding up on Changchun Station. You'll probably recognize it from my previous video. But this is where today's journey is gonna have to end, unfortunately. But let me tell you, I've got a lot more content. I've already got stuff recorded, being edited. Got a lot of stuff coming your way, so make sure to click that subscribe button for future content. Also, click the notification bell. <laughs> I usually don't say that, it's my first time saying that. But yeah, definitely subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know, you know, did you find anything interesting? Do you have any questions? Feel free to communicate with me in the comment section, be glad to. Well, right next to the station, I found this busy little road. So I figured to give you guys a little bit of bonus footage for your people watching pleasure. Just a little side street right next to the station. Smells good. <laughs> 